When world leaders gathered in St. Petersburg last month, did their Russian hosts spy on them? That's the allegation made by two Italian newspapers. The Russians, they say, providing memory sticks and phone chargers, which, on later inspection, were found to have bugs in them. The devices apparently allowed emails, text messages and phone calls to be monitored. A spokesman for the Russian leader said the reports are not true, but it's not the first time stories like this have surfaced from international gatherings. In the summer, The Guardian reported that the British and Americans had behaved in much the same way at two G20 meetings four years ago. Amid more recent allegations, an EU delegation has been in Washington this week. Senior German officials will be at the White House later today, following claims that Angela Merkel's phone was bugged. On Capitol Hill, meanwhile, intelligence chiefs have been explaining themselves to Congress, generally unrepentant and speaking perhaps for their counterparts everywhere, when they explained, fairly candidly, what this is all about. As long as I've been in the, in the intelligence business, um, 50 years, uh, leadership intentions, in whatever form that's expressed, is kind of a, a basic tenet of what uh, we are to collect and analyze. Stop spying on us. Members of Congress seem satisfied, but there are voices of dissent in Washington. Moves are afoot to limit the activities of the National Security Agency. But the intelligence bosses insist reports the NSA trawled through millions of French and Spanish phone calls are just plain wrong. Much of the data, they say, was gathered by the Europeans themselves and then shared with the U.S. Paul Adams, BBC News.